So in this video we're going to look at an application using matrices for curve fitting. So here's, uh, here's the problem. The problem says determine the equation of the polynomial of degree 2 whose graph passes through the points 1, 6, 2, 3, and 3, 2. So a, a degree 2 polynomial is just a quadratic function. So a quadratic function what we need to do is remember what it looks like. It's going to look like this, f of x equals, and it's going to have the form ax squared plus b times x plus some constant term. So this is the form of it, and when we look at the form, what we see is that there are three unknowns that we would need to identify in order to get the equation of a degree two polynomial. We would need to know coefficients a, b, and c. So the idea is if there's three unknowns, we need to have three pieces of information in order to identify three unknowns. So in this case, we're given three ordered pairs in the Cartesian plane that may lay on a, a degree two polynomial. So what we do is we plug each of the points into uh, our function uh, pattern here. And then from that we generate three equations and we can construct a matrix from it. So using the first point, this says the output to the function should be 6 when the input is 1. So replace the function output with 6 equals and then plug 1 in everywhere we see an x. So we get 1 squared is 1 times a is just a plus plug in a 1 for the x here. We get 1 times b is just b and it's going to be plus the constant term. So the sum a plus b plus c should equal 6. And then using the second point, we see the output is 3, so replace f of x, the output with 3. And when the output is 3, the input should be 2. So plug 2 in here for x, 2 squared is 4, 4 times a is 4a, plus plug the 2 in for the x, we get 2 times b plus the constant is going to be the constant. And this last point says that when the output is 2, so replace f of x, the function output, with 2. Uh, when the output is 2, the input should be 3. So 3 squared is 9. 9 times a will be 9a. Plus, plug 3 in for x, we get 3 times b, plus our constant. So here I have three unknowns, a, b, and c and three equations, and from this I can set up a, a matrix. So our unknowns are A, B, and C. We're going to have an unknowns column, and then we're going to have a constants column. So get the coefficients off of the A, B, and C. So the coefficients are going to be 1, 1, 1, and the constant is 6. So we're making an augmented matrix. So the second row, the, the coefficients are going to be 4, 2, and 1. And the constant is the 3. And for the last one, the coefficients are 9, 3, and 1. 9, 3, and 1. And the constant is a 2. So here we have an augmented matrix. And then what we can do is go ahead and put this augmented matrix into GeoGebra and put it into reduced row echelon form and then interpret the results. So I want to keep those and slide it off to the side so I can see it. I'll bring GeoGebra open. I'm going to slide it off to the side. And in GeoGebra I've already pre-plotted the points 1, 6, 2, 3, and 3, 2. These are the three points to which we are trying to fit a degree 2 polynomial. And so what we're going to do is the same thing that we did before. We're going to go into the view menu open the spreadsheet view and then we're going to input uh, the matrix into the rows of the spreadsheet so the first entry in the ma the first row of the matrix is 1116 so I want to type that in here let's give myself a little bit more room so I'm going to go one tab one tab one tab six Enter, there's row one. Row two is four, two, one, three. So four, tab, two, tab, one, tab, three. Enter. And then the final row, row of the matrix is nine, tab, three, tab, one, tab, two. And at that point, I have 
I have my matrix uh, typed into the spreadsheet view. So like we did in video, the first video, we want to highlight our entries. We left click and drag to highlight. Right click to bring up a context menu. Go down to create and then create our matrix, which will then show up over here. I just closed the spreadsheet view. I don't need it anymore, I don't think. Um, sends my matrix into the algebra window. I'm going to right click and rename it. I'm going to name it capital A. And then I'm going to open using view. I'm going to open my computer algebra system window. And I'm going to type, I will want to put matrix A over here into reduced row echelon form. So I type reduced row echelon form. As soon as GeoGebra prompts me, I hit enter. And then for matrix, it's highlighted already, so I just type A. I type A because I named my matrix A over here, and then I hit enter, and it will put my matrix into reduced row echelon form, and now I just need to interpret the results. So remember that we had columns. We had an A column, a B column, and a C column. So this is saying 1A is equal to 1, or A equals 1. This entry here is saying that B is equal to negative 6. And this entry here is saying C is equal to 11. And our form was F of X equals AX squared plus BX plus C. So we just replace the A, the B, and the C with the outputs from the matrix. So we get 1x squared minus 6x plus C is equal to 11. And then the check on work is to take, uh, take that model, uh, this, uh, this quadratic function that we have right here, and come down here to the input bar and type it in. F of, F of X equals and we got x squared minus 6x plus 11. And if we did it correctly, our function, our quadratic function, should fit the three points to which we were trying to fit a curve. That's why this is curve fitting. We're fitting a curve, in this case a parabola, to three points using a matrix to, to accomplish the task.